Question here from Gord. Hi, it's Gord from Rembrandt Property Management. Would you recommend using an L9 form to come up with payment arrangements with a tenant, or is it equally valid to just come up with a written agreement between the tenants? Well, it really depends on what you're what you're looking for. So, I mean, if you're looking for just an order for the arrears and you're not looking to terminate the tenancy, then again, you can certainly file an L9 application. Right now, you don't know when you're going to get a hearing date, okay? Um, if you file uh, an L9 application and once it's been processed, uh, it gets a file number. So if you're looking to have sort of um, a, a concrete order from the board for non-payment that has nothing to do with termination of the tenancy, once you've got assigned a, a file number, there is a form on the landlord and tenant board's website, which is an agreement to payment plan. And after you filed that application, um, and I believe that you probably can't do it for an L1 application too, which is uh, arrears and termination, but there's going to be no termination component to this order at all. So, you know, one, you can enter into a payment arrangement for the tenant right now, stipulated template, uh, have that communication, um, or you can file uh, an L9 application, but who knows when you're going to get a hearing date, what that looks like. And once it's been processed and the board's given it a file, there is an actual board form that you and the tenant can sign setting out a payment plan and the board will issue an order. Um, if the tenant doesn't adhere to that payment plan, then it actually goes back to a hearing once it's up and running. But there's, again, no termination component to that.